is the 95 Huskers defense better than 2021 UGAs? I'll go first. I'm going to go first. And, I, you know, when, when I was, when we thought about this, right, this is something we've talked about, I guess, off air here. I guess the question, because again, you know, whenever you, we, whenever you throw these things out, you have to have a clear and concise, clear and concise way of measuring how do you say better, right? And, and this is what I think of. I think of the scenario in terms of if you put both of these teams, right, or either one of these teams on the same field as 2019 LSU with Joe Burrow, who gives you the best chance to stop them? Who gives you the best chance, again, just from a defensive standpoint here, to win? Right? Chris, I know the argument that you and a lot of fans are going to make, right, is that the 95 Huskers would hold up against any era of football, right? But... Dude, let's be honest, all right? This was an era in the 90, the 90s was an era where everybody ran the triple option, lined up in the I formation, and 90% of the snaps were under center, all right? I don't think they would be able to be as dominant as the 21 UGA defense was, man. And let me just let me give you some numbers here to back myself up. All right, this is a historic defense, goddamn. You're you're laughing over there. You're getting all you're getting all bent out of shape. I'm telling you right now, I know you're bubbling and it's building up, but listen to the numbers here. UGA's defense, dude, they only gave up 10.2 points per game, and they did that over the course of 15 games. No running back had a run of more than 20 yards against UGA's first string defense all year. In six games against top 25 ranked teams, Georgia only allowed one rushing touchdown. One. Bama had a streak of 75 games. You know, Bama, as in one of the more premier dynasties in all of college football, had a game of 75 game streak with multiple touchdowns until that title game happened, and Georgia stuffed one of the greatest dynasties to end that streak. Defense had 11 players drafted in a two-year span, which, let's just be honest, dude, we're two years removed from that team. That's pretty damn good, right? And they were drafted pretty high, too. Chris, I'm going to do this for you here, right? I'm going to do this, right? I, I, I'm going to save my best point for my last point here, all right? That is... You take everything I just said into account, all right, in an era where everyone wants to spread you out and go up tempo and get as many plays. That's where it is now, right? You, they try to get as many plays off as they can on the offensive side of the ball, wear you down, right? And I mean, let's be honest, I think the athletes now are better than they were in the 90s, dude. I mean, I say it's not only Georgia's defense was better, but dude, it's called dominance. Right, so I don't understand how we can debate this, and I'm going to say a couple more things here, right? And then I'm going to get to my my main point, and I'll let you go, right? Think about this, because I know what a lot of people are going to say when I think of the '95 Huskers, dude. I don't think about defense. I mean, they were good on defense, don't get me wrong, but I think they were overshadowed by their offense. They were overshadowed by that offense, right? You look at 21 Georgia; they weren't overshadowed by their defense or their offense. We, I mean, we talked about that before we got on air. If I asked a casual college football fan to name me one player on that team's defense, I don't think they could do it. I, and it's not just because of recency bias. I just literally don't think they could name a single player from that 95 Nebraska team's defense. An average fan. Lastly, all right, this is the last thing we'll do here. Once you take a look at this, Chris. I want you to take a look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give some of you guys some visual aids here for you. This was your starting defensive tackles in that year, 1995. I believe these are the Peters brothers, right? So the the bigger one in here, I believe it was 98, 95. I think it was 95, right here. He was six foot three, 295 pounds is what they listed him as. Okay, I want you to keep this in mind. This is the guy running the trenches there for you at Nebraska. You should take a look at this. Oh, I'm fucking looking. Oh, I know you're looking. Hold on one second here. All right. This white this this gentleman right here, this very small gentleman right here, is a normal sized human being. The guy next to him 
is 6'3", 315 pounds. So he's, again, about as big as your defensive tackles were. And then this big son of a bitch right here is Jordan Davis, right? He makes this guy, who is, again, about as big as your defensive players, look small. He also happened to run a 4.7840 yard dash. So good luck. Are you done? Oh, I'm done. Yeah, go on. I my case rests. Okay, two things. Put the fucking crack pipe down for one. Um, <laughs> this might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You're sitting there trying to compare size, right? Um, I'm just going to start from the back half of this shit because I, I couldn't take this seriously if I wanted to. Um, I understand that you're a Georgia man, right, Christian? Let's let's be honest, right? You're a Georgia, uh, you know, you, you, you were born and raised there. Your mom was a, you know, Falcons cheerleader. I, I respect the shit out of you for standing up for your team. And I get that. And it's hard to debate a Georgia man because you guys have won two in a row. Unfortunately, though, for you, you're talking to a guy that does remember the 90s football, and we won three out of four. You guys do have a chance, as I've said, to win three in a row, which I, I'll be honest with you would be an incredible feat. I'm not taking anything away from Georgia. I'm sure shit not taking anything away from that defense. And I'm sure shit, Christian, not taking anything away from you. But I will say you <laughs> gave up 41 points to Alabama that year. You guys were not undefeated in 2021. You gave up 41. And you played them in the national title, and I believe you gave up, what, 18? <laughs> Did you not? Which wasn't bad. I'm not saying that title game was bad. I'm happy for the Georgia man. I'm happy as fuck that you guys had a great year, won your first night at national title in 40-some years. I was rooting for you. Trust me. I'm not a gump. I don't root for Bama. But this, this notion, this recency bias, because you think that most people can't come on here and we're talking to a younger generation. Does it remember Nebraska? Well, unfortunately, Christian, I do. I was 10 years old when Nebraska won in 1994 against Miami. Uh, I, I was 11 when we won, you know, it, it in 95 and destroyed, destroyed the Gators in their number two offense with the run and gun or fun and gun with Steve Spurrier, Christian. Mm -hmm. I was there 65 to 24. And mind you, that national title game, we had half our third string in. By the second half, it was an absolute, it, it, it was ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to leave it there and be nice. But to even get to this point, and I see what you're doing here. You're bringing up the stats. You said Georgia gave up what? 10.2 points per game on defense. That's the question. That's the topic tonight. That's yep. great. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. It, it, it's a hell of a stat. It's amazing. <clears throat> but here's what you're not figuring in because you think – Nebraska or any team that played in the 90s, Christian, was a bunch of plumbers, electricians, and carpenters <laughs> <laughs> on fucking defense. You, know, oh, you, you run the triple option. Oh, it, it's it's a fullback give. It's a fullback give left and right. And, oh, once in a while, you'll hit the play action pass. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong about it. But guess what, Christian? Nobody can fucking stop it. Nobody. And it worked. It worked for three out of four then. Okay, okay, so then answer me this. Answer oh. me this then. Riddle will be Why, something. What? There's nobody option anymore, Chris. If, if, if it was so dominant and it was so prevalent, why does nobody after the year probably, I don't know, uh, the early 2000s really, really run the triple option anymore? Riddle because, me that. Because football's evolved, Christian. It's evolved. You're right. The, Thank the you. You dummy. The, point, the, the game is always evolving. The points per game, yes, have gone up. But who's to say that's just all offense? Defenses are softer now. Look at the Pac-12, the Big 12. Jesus, we talk about this every week. I'm going to have – I got mental health issues after his, listening to you talk for five <laughs> to ten minutes about the 2021 20, Georgia defense. And I'm not saying they're not good or not great all time. They are. That team was amazing. And you got tons of studs in the NFL. I believe, Christian – what, 14 to 15 of those guys are in the NFL and there's time to tell, see how good they're going to be? Well, that Nebraska team had just as many as well end up in the NFL. I can name a few. Peters Brothers, fucking Troy Dumas, Dante Jones, Baron Miles, Tyrone Williams, Christian Peter, Doug Coleman, Tony Velan, all these guys. Mike Minner, who played like literally 18 years for the freaking Panthers, was all pro almost every year. 
I could talk about this all day, but you're right. You just say one thing out of this whole freaking ridiculous comment that you made that our offense overshadowed our defense. Of course it did. We averaged 53.2 points per game, Christian. 53. We scored like literally 65 times that year. And you're going to tell me, oh, yep, yep, it was triple option, boring football. Your, your, your nose guard was only 285 pounds. Yeah, fuck that, man. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. They couldn't stop it then. They, could, they couldn't stop it in the 80s. They couldn't stop it in the 90s. I honestly think if Tom Osborne was still here, he probably could have ran the triple option for a few more former years later until you get into the early 2000s. Yes, athletes evolve. That's the whole game of football, just like basketball, just like anything. Everything is evolved, Christian. I don't want to hear the excuse that that's that a lot of people played football back in the 90s with triple option. Colorado, Oklahoma, hell, Miami, and like some of the, the, <clears throat> the southern teams threw the ball, huh? but they still ran the shit out of the football. So your your point on this Georgia thing and that oh the athletes are better today, of course they are. I mean, any 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 dummy knows that. Come on, man. Well, I, I would say you're making my point for me, Chris. I mean, no, what I'm you not. just said. Yes, you are. You just said the athletes are better and it's an... Okay, so this is... Here's the reality, right? I've both played in the triple option, like literally under center, wing T, power I, triple option offense, right? And have played defense against it for a long time, dude. So I can tell you right now, as a defense... Like playing against it on a defensive standpoint, this is why I really believe... This is why I really believe it, right? If you're decent at defense, it's really not that hard to stop. It's literally just a man on a man, okay? Yes, you are making reads, but if you're halfway decent at playing defense, you can react to it, all right? If you've got decent athletes that can float to the ball, it's just man-on-man assignments, right? That's that's the first part of it. It's much harder to run the offense because you're having to make quick decisions in a moment's notice, right, than it is to probably react to it. And play sound fundamental ball. Now I understand where you're saying, hey, nobody could stop it. And I will I will say this. It was impressive you guys put up all those points. But this isn't about, all right, this wasn't about who's the better team, 95 Nebraska or 21 Georgia. It's about who had the better defense. And I think a lot of people in our chat, obviously very biasly, don't watch other other teams in college football. They only like to keep it parked in oh, I don't know over at one memorial stadium and they don't they find it really hard to be able to tell you something of re- relevance we have people that fucking think the the big 10 is better than the sec chris i'm not disagreeing with that statement you're right no we know the sec but again i think you're totally wrong on this well i listen and i'll and i'll, I'll i will say this right listen I, yeah i've been listening this entire time and i think it's insane <laughs> i think you're crazy to tell me no listen to me yeah, no, I, I don't. Okay. Understand. I don't buy the. I don't buy Christian. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop you on that point. I don't I'll buy the fact that you think that just because there's better athletes today that 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 defense is better. No, that's bullshit. It, it's complete bullshit. We can't take the '95 Huskers defense and ever put mm-hmm. them in a vacuum and play in today's yeah. era. And vice versa. Who to say is your fucking defense wouldn't have been able to di- adapt to the the option style of play that was in the Big Ten or Big Twelve back then or Big Eight. You can't say that. You can't. We can't do that. Just like trying to compare Michael Jordan to LeBron James. As much as I think Michael Jordan's the greatest player of all time, it's a different era. We can't compare eras. And I know this question we, is comparing eras. So yet, wait. Just wait a second over right. there. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But I think you're freaking ridiculous to say that. Oh yeah. Yep. You guys had a bunch of scrubs. Couldn't play. Guy. You know your your nose guard ran a five five. Fuck that, dude. It didn't matter. It, it, that's the thing. Why, why would if that mattered? How come then Florida? This is going to be a perfect example for you to shut your ass up over there. That you think Florida that year, <laughs> who had Steve Spurrier, who was all about the running gun. Let's be honest. Steve Spurrier reinvented football back then. Spread you out, throw the ball quickly, get it out quickly. Dana Warfel, you want a Heisman? They won the title in '96 after us. How come that? That's no different, really, than what the hell they're fucking doing today. And Florida had athletes back then, Redell Anthony and and all those guys, all those studs back then. But it didn't work against Nebraska, bro. And there's a reason for that. And I don't think that if if Georgia's offense in 2021 had to play against the 95 Huskers, no, I'll take 95 Huskers all fucking day, dude. All day. And you're going to sit there and go, well, well, yeah, Jesus Christ is right. You better go find a church, (laughs) pray, and and tell him to tell you to get off the fucking crack pipe because that's all I've been seeing out of you lately. You know what? Next week, guys, chat. Next week, Stetson Bennett's the greatest quarterback that ever played college football. I'm waiting for it, Christian. 
That's the next thing. Or Todd Gurley, greatest running back ever, right? That's where you're going with this stuff, man. I get it. You've won two in a row. I appreciate it. I understand that the 2021 defense is arguably probably a top 10 defense of all time. I get it. But if you think they're better than 95 scurs and you want to bring up points per game, that, that stat is skewed, Christian. It's completely skewed because Nebraska's offense in first string defense was out of the game 90% of the time by the time the second half started. Okay, let me ask you a question. Some Somebody's conservative Husker says our O-line was a brick wall. 21 UGA couldn't have broke through either. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's pretty good. I guess the six foot five guy that we just showed you there, or six seven, almost four hundred pound guy, wouldn't have broken through and fucking ate Tommy Frazier's lunch. Yeah, oh. that makes sense. Yeah, makes what sense. The hell is oh, oh, makes sense. L- listen, let me ask you a question, Chris. I, and we're going to keep it on this. Who's the who? In your opinion, who is the best offense of all time in college football? The best offense of all time in college football. Yeah. Woo. Uh, I, 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 the best that I've seen in my lifetime is either 95 Scurs, 2019 mm-hmm. LSU. Uh, I probably could throw, I could probably throw 2018 Clemson in there. I mean, they destroyed that Alabama team. I'll put them All up right. there. And I, no, I, I didn't say, say Georgia either. I didn't say Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying Georgia, dude. I will tell you right now, Georgia, it's not even a debate. Georgia doesn't even have probably a top 50 all time greatest college football offense. I, I will say that. Right. There's nothing okay. there's nothing wrong okay. with that. They got some great players, right? But offensively, I'm not gonna go there. Now defensively, right, we've had some damn good defenses. So has Nebraska. My main point with this is you know, Chris, one of the big things that I'm looking at this is I would say it's night 2019 LSU. Right? We've talked about this. I would say 95 Nebraska is right up there. They're two different eras of football, right? And and you got it like I would say Georgia as far as what they did defensively, they're probably about as much of a throwback on defense as you're going to find in the modern era next to Bama and some of these other teams. I would agree with that. I would agree with that statement. I would put you up there with what the, uh, what 2009 Alabama defense was freaking super yeah. crazy good. I, I, I Okay. I, to interrupt you and not scream into the mic so I don't piss everybody off in the chat, but I agree with you to a certain extent about that, but I know where you're going with this, but Okay, then stick 2019 LSU offense in the 90s. The teams tried that then, Christian. Florida. Florida tried it. And it worked. It, success-wise, wins and losses. But boy, when you played the Scurs in 95, holy shit. It, it didn't work. That's my point. It's like, I'm not even talking about Nebraska's offense right here. I'm talking about strictly yeah. their defense. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that LSU wouldn't score in a game like that, but they would also have to adapt. So if What's what's the halfway point between ninety five and nineteen? We're looking at what two thousand? Probably shit. Probably what oh nine oh eight. Yeah. yeah. So right. basically, Texas Bama. Right, and I, I I still think that that defense would still be enough to keep us in a game if you're talking about wins losses. And Alabama or LSU's defense in that game. I know we're talking about their defense was not. They couldn't even. Nobody would stop Nebraska's ninety five offense. So that's a whole different scenario for another day. Because their offense is regarded, in my opinion, 95 Nebraska is the best fucking football team I've ever seen play. And that has nothing to do with me being a Nebraska fan. Because I think that 2019 LSU team is is just ridiculously good. And I'm not I'm not taking away against the, the what 2015 Bama team, the 2009 mm-hmm. Bama team. I'll hell I'll won't take anything away against goddamn Texas in 04. I mean L or uh, USC is another one with Reggie Bush and those guys. I so I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to get into best team of all time, which I know you're not either. Yeah. But I, I just think that this notion of when people say, well, athletes are better, of course they are. There's better training. There's better, there's, there's better, you know, workouts. There's, there's more medical things going on as far as taking care of players and concussions. And it, 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 exactly. I mean, it, well, it, and I will say, I will say, you said what? No, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, hey, I'm calm now, dude. I'm trying to, I'm trying to circle back to this and see it from your point of view. And one thing that I'm trying, one thing I will give you is there's a big distinction now compared to the '90s, right? Right, right. No, there, there is. But my, my point when you also on top of that though, when you <clears> say <throat> a six seven, you know, four hundred pound monster running a a, a four nine or whatever, well, we could do that in the NFL. I mean, there's guys that are six 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 seven. Could yeah. throw the ball a mile, and then I see Drew Brees out there a couple of years ago slinging the ball, and you know held a bunch of records. I mean, we could go about size. We could talk about size. I'm well, not saying that 
Jordan Davis is he's a monster. That guy's a freak. He's a he's a freak. And yet I will say this: I'll give you benefit of the doubt as far as like players go on your side, is because yeah. a lot of those guys are in the NFL and they're very young right now. And I yeah. swear, eighty percent of them play for the Eagles. Um, Damn right, but, son. Yeah, I mean, which is just hilarious how that works out for the the casual Georgia and Eagles fan that I call you a casual fan. Um, it just works out for you. But my point overall, though. This is a hard debate to end this debate, I guess, if you will. I'm not going to scream into the mic anymore, but like, yeah. I get fired up about the 95 Huskers just because maybe, maybe that's my own, you know, personal bias. But I just, I just think that it's such a hard comparison, and we knew this kind of coming into. Not that we, by the way, guys, we did not talk about this coming into this of what we were no. going to say. Um, this was all off the rip, but I get fired up about this. Christian's a Georgia man. I'm a Nebraska man. This is authentic. We're not from a different state, so you guys got to believe us on that one. But I mean. Overall, Christian, I, I understand your point. And I will say this before I end my um, rant here is that I, I 21 defense of Georgia is top 10 easily. It, they, they were awesome. I know that. I'm not a dummy. I follow college football. I watch yeah. this more than Nebraska. So I'll kick it over to you, Christian, here. And I know we got uh, other parts of the show to, to do here. Yeah, and I'll just say this. I mean, really, what I where I was going with this is, you know, you got to look at what happened in the '90s, like in the '90s and the early 2000s. I mean, it was still more about, like, it was still more about, you know, kids could kids growing up would play all the sports, right? They wouldn't be super, uh, you know, they wouldn't be super pushed into one sport like it is now. You know, now, like these kids are playing the game. From very early ages, they're specially they're, they specialize in one sport. They don't play other sports anymore. By especially by the time they get to middle school, you know what I mean. So it's it's just one of those things where I think if you take some of those athletes from that '95 team and you you brought them into today's age and let them come up, I mean they'd probably still be just as good, right? I can't say that. The only thing I have to really, but we can't do that though, right? I mean we, we don't have a time machine, we don't have the access to be able to do that, right? So all we can do, you know, all we can do is is just kind of look back at it, you know, as far as you know, well Georgia wouldn't have been able to. You know, uh, you know. They said you guys are saying the big Totino's guy would would break through, wouldn't break through a corn fred uh, line of Nebraska ninety five. Crazy. Yeah, we did it. All right. I mean, we basically did it. All right. It's called Georgia fucking tech. And you're wondering what it would look like if somebody ran the triple option today's uh, today's yeah. level. They did it. it. For years. Google Paul Johnson Georgia Tech. They did it successfully in the two thousands. All right. Who's, uh, who's not to interrupt you? Who's the Navy guy? Yeah. That, that, they, they, Navy. Oh that yeah, I can't you remember that. Mean? I can't remember his name. Yeah, I think yeah. he. I think he's at B. He went. To, he left for, yes. for BYU yes. a but couple years back. Option, it just it just doesn't work. And I think who's it? who's that right there? Crix just dropped in the chat. Said that yeah, yeah. It work. Athletes are just too good. I'm not saying that you can't run it. Sorry, Christian, to take away from your. Speed. No, you're good. Um, just we're going into chat now, but I mean it's no. It, <clears throat> there, there's a time and a place for it because it's very unorthodox and nobody knows how to kind of defend it still, but you couldn't run it predominantly as your main offense. There's no way. There's, there's, <clears throat> there's no way. You know what I mean, Christian? I mean, Georgia Tech yeah. has tried it forever. Paul Johnson, I think. Like, those guys, like, it just it just doesn't work. It, 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 if you prepare for it and have a week to prepare for it as your main offense, it just doesn't work. He tried. Georgia Tech tried. Navy tried. It it, it, it does work for an ex extent, depending on the defense you're playing against. The defenses are too good. And this is even me saying this as a Nebraska fan, and I love the triple option. It was awesome to watch at its prime. But athletes now, Jesus Christ, you got guys that are linebackers running faster than running backs and receivers nowadays. Yeah, and like I said, Jordan Jordan Davis, dude. I'm not to keep bringing him up. But that dude ran a fucking four seven eight. You remember when that happened? Like NFL Network ate that shit up. They were like, he ran faster than Patrick Mahomes, and yeah. they started listening to all these other players. And I just started thinking, like, that's a scary son of. Like, I'm a big guy. I'm probably about as big as the guy in the middle of that photo. But that guy, yeah. <laughs> he is. It, it's no, you're you're right about that. I'm not gonna ever debate the fact that there aren't better athletes. In today's game, than 25, 30 years ago. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The, the 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 technology, the health, the safety, all that has played into that too. But the, the, yeah, there there weren't guys. I mean, unless you're talking about Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders, some of these freak guys that came along that played skill positions. There yeah. weren't linemen running that kind of stuff. There weren't linemen. Um, Larry Larry Allen, some of those guys that were benching eight hundred pounds back then. But now nowadays. 
DK Metcalf does 225 for 40. I mean, this is a different world now. Yeah. And that's DK. I mean, he's my one of my favorite players. Like it, it's it's a different world. Technology, strength and conditioning is a whole different thing. So it's hard to compare yeah. w- offenses, defenses, everything, especially when you go back that far. It sucks because like the most relevant offense we're always going to talk about is 2019 LSU. But how yeah. first, let's give it 20 years and see what happens now. And somebody will bring up 2019 LSU. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll be this is just how i love this <clears throat> sports though I, I could do this yeah. in basketball too this is what this is about i mean you guys aren't wrong about some of the stuff you guys are posting in chat some of it's yeah. a little ridiculous but I, I get it as a nebraska man i love it but also got to be able to evolve man and, and what's real is what's real and you know we watch a lot of other football here than just our favorite teams yeah, I mean, I mean, Chris, you're not wrong, you know. And I will, I will say this. I know we keep kind of doing this because I keep thinking of more stuff too. Like if that game's played in the '90s, dude, chop blocking. Yeah, completely. Legal. Yeah, yep. I mean, yep. so yep. May, maybe yep. there's a diff. You know, I could see an argument there a little more for the Nebraska side of it, and especially in some of those offenses that they had back then. Like you said, it's it just depends on what era it's played in, right? And and, and that kind of probably would determine a lot there.